Hey guys, it's Shelly from the Lemonade Store. I'm sorry it's been a couple of weeks, um, but quite honestly, I have been recovering from the holidays. I have just kind of had zero like motivation to do a whole lot. And um, how I kind of got myself out of that funk was I started at the very basics of something I like to do. So I started watercoloring um, over on my Instagram, the alphabet. And um, so if you're starting out watercoloring, those might be some good ones for you guys to check out. But today we are going to talk about these um, Karen Marker Metallics. These are the Deco Brush um, Permanent Metallic. And you get, you get like 10 in here. And we're gonna just test them out. If you haven't seen them and how to use them, um, they, Karen sent me these markers and they also sent me, they have a big box of um, like watercolor markers, I think they are, but we'll do those in a separate video because I, I feel like they're kind of different. So let's just do two videos. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and it's totally free. And you can um, hit the like button too. And if you would like to get your name lettered, I try to get names lettered on almost every video if it kind of works out. And um, yeah, so thanks you guys. And I hope you are doing well. So let's get started on um, these permanent Karen marks. Okay, so this is the box that the metallic permanent markers come in. It's actually a really nice container has directions I'm not gonna read this to you like step by step but basically what they um, say is that you want to keep these laying flat so you want to use them in the container that they come with and you want to make sure you shake them because you can see like if you look at this blue one it's um, not completely like mixed together you can see like the pooling of the different metals so you need to make sure that you um, shake each one of these before you actually use it and just um, just to reiterate Karen sent me these markers to test out and so I just wanted to share them with you but I'm not an affiliate of theirs so um, I can link to their website if you want um, I'm not sure where else you can get them I think you can get them in the US from different vendors but I can I'll just link to their website di um, directly so the vendor of these markers is from Poland. So their site is on Poland, but I know that their mark, these, this set right here goes for about $28. I don't know what they are in the US, but that gives you an idea of how much they are retail. And I don't know what the shipping is. You'd have to check the site. Okay, so let's start with um, just kind of going over some swatches. And um, this, is what I really love the tip of these pens. So um, I'm just gonna like swatch them really quick so you can see them. But see how they're like, you can really lay down and get a nice thick stroke. And then when you do your light pressure, you're gonna get a thin stroke. And it, it's, it's a nice bendy brush tip. But as you can see, and this isn't a bad thing, but just so you are aware, it is super, super juicy. So that is drying right now. And the, they say on the pens that they are supposed to be um, waterproof or water resistant and I guess light resistant once they're dry. But I'm gonna tell you, I haven't really found that to be true unless you spray like a protective coating over it. So, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't found that to be the case. I wrote, I used one on a journal I got from um, Ikea and after waiting like three days, I kind of was like testing it because I'm like, oh wow, waterproof, like that's kind of cool. That's a pretty, pretty cool thing. But I noticed that I could still kind of smudge it. So let me just show you. It's gonna be loud for a second. I'm gonna use my heat gun and I'm gonna dry off. Okay. 
Okay, so that looks pretty dry and I don't have, I don't see anything wet, but if I take my finger, like you could see where it was wet when it dried, it still dried a little bit darker, but I feel like you can see just a smidge, see it just a smidge of it smearing. So if you're gonna do it on glass, which we are going to do in a second, um, then you definitely need to look into how you conceal it, I think would be the best, um, the best method. But other than that, these are amazing metallic. The pigment is really cool. Um, I wish the gold was a little less green. It looks kind of green to me. I'll swatch that one on white. I also have some white cardstock here just so you could see it. Um, it, it, it's cool, I like it. And I think it's like most of them are like that color. So um, it, it dries a little bit differently too. You get more of the sheen once it's dry, but that's, um, it looks, I like it better on the, the white, I think, than I do the gold on the black but it's not ugly, it's nice. So, um, this is their light green, super pretty color. And they do see how you can overlap. I like that. And then they have like, it's called green, but it's more like an aqua green. One of my favorite colors. And blue, this is just blue and violet, super pretty. I do like how the pigment, and I'm kind of going fast here just to show you the colors, but, um, Oh, and then they have silver and black. So I'm gonna do silver up here, kind of small. Silver's super pretty on everything. And then the black is actually, to me, kind of looks like a dark silver once it dries. But see how juicy that is? Don't rub your finger over that while it's wet because that's gonna make a mess. Um, and I've tried blending with them and I didn't really have a great success with them because it's like a different ink than it is with um, the watercolors. But I mean, that's those are really nice colors and the ink flows really, really awesomely. I don't know if that's a word, but so those are our color swatches and let's do a couple of names and then we're gonna try um, we're gonna do, uh, let's try doing it on some glass so we can see the difference. So our first person today is going to be Aaliyah. And I think my favorite is this pink. I like the pink and the green. So let's do that. So since she has two A's, I'm probably gonna do my first one a capital. And then I would go back in and grab that one. So I've never done an owl like this before in my life. I, was, I don't know where that just came from, but I like it. So that's for Aaliyah. So let's add some green shadow because I wanted to go over, I had someone comment, um, in one of my other videos, or in one of the videos comments, it, they said something about how they wanted to see more highlights and shadows. Um, maybe it was just highlights, but anyway, so I'm gonna show you how I do my shadow. And I imagine that there is um, sunshine coming from here. Let's say that's the sun, okay? And the sun is pointing down on Aaliyah and I just imagine that I move everything in the opposite direction of the way that it's um, shining so it's like this whole word is moving this way so that means everything that's left over is my shadow so if I move it this way and I do have a video on doing shadows but it was one of 
my early video, so I'm not sure how good it is or, you know. I'm still learning like you guys like every day. But I just pretend that the whole thing just slid over and then I add my other color. And it doesn't have to be, you know, green. I just like to do different, I like to try different colors and different things, so. And I don't always do the flourishes because I feel like sometimes when I do the flourishes, it actually makes it look too bulky and I don't know if I like that look. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So there is Aaliyah with the shadow and I hope that kind of helps. And then where I would put my um, highlight is I like to do my highlights where things are thicker or where they're curving. So like if my A, if this is my A, this is my thicker piece right here, I would probably add like a shadow or a highlight right there. And since my A curves, I would put something there. And you don't have to do it like that. I I mean, like I said, there's for me I, I don't really follow the rules and I'm not I I don't claim to be an expert. I just enjoy doing it, so and then teach you guys my, my tricks. But you can do any kind of highlight. You can add polka dots, you can you can do anything. So that one was for Aaliyah. I hope you like it and thanks for watching Aaliyah. And see so it dries really pretty. I mean it looks amazing on the black um, paper. But let's flip this one around and do one of the colors I really liked, which I showed at the beginning on my subscribe button was, I really like this copper on the white paper. So let's see who we have here. There's Aaliyah. And this was Melissa. So let's do Melissa. So. So I'm kind of going fast. I'm gonna just put the lid on and shake it a little bit more just in case, but it's kind of like the ink there. You need to go slow to make sure that you're getting the coverage. It is super juicy, but maybe if you go too fast, you're not gonna get the super awesome cover. I actually like it though. I like kind of the ombre effect that it gives you. So Melissa. I'm gonna clean up some of my L. And I'm gonna grab the black. Let's see what the black looks like. Shake it. And one of the key points, if I didn't already say, is make sure that you store these flat. That's what it recommends, to store them flat um, in, the, in the case. But the case is so awesome, so. You know, but I think that's probably because of the ink in there. And one of the things that they say is that they have the technology that all the ink will be used, all the contents of this will be used. You won't have any ink left over in the chamber. So that's kind of cool. I like that. They're versatile, I like them. So thank you, Melissa. And then let's check what they look like on glass. So I happen to have, okay. So I've got this gold ball Christmas ornament, which is glass, it's like a matte glass. And if I just take um, the ornament and let's say I'm gonna write, um, Mary on it or something. I mean, it's nice that it's a brush tip. Like you don't necessarily have to do faux calligraphy on it. Um, but I know this isn't the best color of ornament, 
but I've done this earlier to kind of test it out. And this is me using the black on the ornament. And it writes really well, but it took a super long time for the ink to actually dry. And I used my heat tool to dry it. So this was done the day before. So here's what is I've noticed. I can still rub this and it's moving. Do you see that? And I got it on my finger. So if you're using an acrylic paint, that doesn't really happen or an acrylic paint pen. So I, you know, that was kind of bugging me a little bit how it was rubbing off. So I went ahead and I was looking for more information on the product. And um, they actually state that it, if you do not want the decorations to be permanent, do not use varnish. So maybe what they mean is that it's permanent if you use varnish um, on it. And they have a special brand, I guess, part of their, their brand that they would use for it. So they do claim that if it's going to be permanent, you need to adhere something on top of it, some sort of a clear coat. So I just wanted to make that clear. So, and like this isn't dry yet. I can see it's still shiny. Um, I love that it's a brush tip and that you could write your lettering on top of it without having to do faux calligraphy. But like I said, I'm kind of a stickler for it, it needs to not smear. I don't, I don't want to accidentally smear. I make a mess, as you can see on my fingers. I'm always messing with paint and stuff. So just something to look out for. And then is there anything else that we wanted to talk about with these markers? Let me check. So they are saying that they're non-toxic. It says you can use them on paper, wood, ceramics, glass, metal, and plastics. And you wanna make sure you store them straight, put, keep the caps on when you shake them. Um, I learned that one the hard way because you'll get ink everywhere. And um, yeah, other than that, they're a beautiful pen. So I'll link to them below. It's by Karen. You guys can research and see if you could find any in the US, but I don't think that um, they're unreasonable as far as getting the pens out to you. So thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you are doing well and I will see you soon.